What is the 70th week of Daniel all about? Welcome back again to another Prophetic Perspective. We're together today to talk about the future prophecies in Daniel. So mm. Nathan, Dave, what about it? Daniel gives us a glimpse of things that are yet to come to pass, including this mysterious 70th week that we talk about uh, in Daniel's future prophecies. What is that? Well, the Lord gave Daniel a prophecy of 490 years. Yeah, I'm not going to go into all the details, but it ends up being 490 right. years. And he calculated to the fact that Artaxerxes would make a decree, and from that decree all the way to Jesus' triumphal entry would be 483 years, and then the Messiah would be cut off. And that's one of the things that blows my mind about Bible prophecy, is this prophecy was exactly 483 years to the Messiah Jesus Christ was cut off. So we're left with Daniel's what's called 70th week, or last seven years, that it was postponed past our time period called the church age. And so people wonder, what's going to happen during those seven years? Well, Jesus being cut off means going to the cross. Correct. Exactly. That's how he was cut off. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. The Messiah wouldn't right. take his kingdom. It would be postponed for a certain amount of time period. But that seven year remaining would still have to happen. And, and that brings in the Messiah's kingdom eventually. Yes. So we're obviously good. we're looking in Daniel chapter nine, right. where Daniel has prayed a great prayer of, of penitence on behalf of his people. Gabriel comes to reveal to him, no, Daniel, this kingdom that you're anticipating is not going to happen right now. And then beginning in verse 24, he describes the 70 weeks. So, Dave, what is this 70th week referring to as we are still expecting it? To we be call the tribulation period. Okay. It's seven years of tribulation. And this is the, the God's wrath being poured out on the earth. Now, I believe, and I know you guys believe too, that the church is pulled out before that. We have a pre-tribulation rapture that takes place. Why do you believe that? Well, that's been God's character throughout Scripture. He did that with Noah. He did that with Lot. So he's going to do that, I believe, with his church, his bride. So the church is gone and you have all unbelievers. And then God's going to bring down his judgment upon that. But there will be people coming to Christ, but there will be, uh, be three sets of seven judgments, 21 in total, that would be the world's most devastating time ever. And Daniel is prophesying that, saying this time will come, and then the end will come, where Jesus will come back, and the Messiah kingdom will go uh, forever. And obviously, we've talked a lot about the tribulation in other episodes, right. and in long form uh, Christ and Prophecy television programs, and on our website, there's a purpose even to this 70th week, this seven year period of yes. tribulation. It's not just to pour out wrath, there is an element of that, to turn, but it's to yeah. convince people yes. to turn from their wicked ways and repent. But there's also a purpose for the Jewish people, and I think Daniel touches on this, because through that time of tribulation, the last three and a half years called the Great Tribulation relative to the mm -hmm. Jewish people, they will come to the end of themselves, they will look upon Him whom they have pierced, and they will cry out, Baruch HaBab Hashem Adonai, blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. And that's how the tribulation ends. It begins with the Antichrist, a right. one world ruler who will come and set up a kingdom, and the whole world will turn to this kingdom, and it starts with a peace treaty that the Antichrist will make with Israel. So that's the beginning of the seven years, and then the end of the seven years is Jesus Christ's return to end what's called the time of the Gentiles and set up his kingdom. But you're right, the 21 judgments that happened during that time, we're talking about global war, yes. global famines, global pandemics. We're talking about meteorites hitting the earth. We're talking about wars that devastate, Correct. kill a third of the world population and then half of it. We're talking about demons released to, to punish people all over the earth. Uh, horrific signs in the sun, moon, and stars, the earth, all the animals dying in the waters. And so no wonder the Bible calls it the, the time of Jacob's trouble or the great terror because right. it will be the worst time in all of human history. Now you mentioned some numbers there, which I think is interesting. The church, I don't think, teaches a lot about the tribulation period. So no. people don't understand it quite a bit. But, but one, of the, one of the judgments, the sealed judgments, uh, you have a quarter of the earth being killed. Another one, you have a third of the earth being killed. They don't survive. If that happened today, there's eight billion people living today. So a quarter of that is two billion people. Can you imagine anything where two billion people wouldn't survive? No. And, and then a third, another two billion people. So we're talking about much of what is presented in Revelation, but I yes. think there's a key point for us and for our viewers today. And that is we're living in this gap period between mm -hmm. the, the 483 years of the 69 weeks Daniel described and that final week. Right. Daniel didn't foresee that there was a large valley separating that final week. We're in the midst of that valley yes. right now and yet there is horror coming upon the earth. And so Jesus Christ, this moment, can be your blessed hope, or He will be your holy terror. Mm -hmm. And so don't wait until the wrath starts being poured out. Some, some of the, uh, the 
Consequences of sin are evident all around us today, perhaps even in your life, but you can put your trust in Christ and you can be rescued from the wrath to come and you are promised an eternal life of, of joy and absolute fulfillment in His presence. So our urging to you is don't wait. Put your trust in Christ today and be assured that He is your blessed hope.